The Afterthought. <clears throat> there are many big lies that we seem to be living under. Most of us have, uh, you know, at some point in our lives, you know, it starts out with Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. Where does it end? Um, but there are many of these things and, you know, which one is the biggest is, is debatable by those who can see them. Many people just choose to be, you know, as, as blissfully ignorant as possible and pretend that it, you know, some things don't affect them and it's you know, just nothing they can do about it and not worry about it and just say, doo -doo -doo, go through and there's, you know, and that's nothing inherently wrong with that because at some level everyone must do that in order to be at terms with their, their lives and you know, our brevity here and all that, which I'm not trying to get into, but, uh, there's a, you know, which one is the biggest lie though? Is it, is it the flat earth? Is that the biggest lie? It's, that's a pretty big one. I mean, and it affects everybody in ways that they certainly don't understand or even know about because they don't even believe it to be a real thing, but it is. And it's, it's, just uh, strange, you know, there's some strange psychological twists and turns with, with that big lie. Is it, you know, the power structure of the world really being the, you know, weirdo ruling class of freaks that, you know, parasite off of the combined energies of all humans? And they, they do it in a financial way and many other ways. I mean, that's a big, that's a big lie that, the, the, you know, the, uh, the business world and the money systems, the way they actually operate and what they're for and why they're in place and the fairness of the market, the free market and all that, you know, that's a big lie too. It's a big... I think the, the one I, I, I'm referring to is from my just previous video about the nature of entropy and uh, biological living things and the aging process and how we treat that. I think that's the biggest lie, really, in all honesty, because unlike the uh, financial systems, I, well, there's a, there's, this could be arguably any of these, any of this could apply to those things, but unlike you know, FE or the the money or whatever big conspiracy that may or may not be true, the one that affects the quality of your life and and the duration that you get of that time is that must be the biggest one the one that directly affects those things because in life that's all you really get you know there's everybody's dealt this hand they pop out they're like, here i am <laughs> what's going on and then ding, the clock ticks right so that's the same for everyone, presumably. You know, stories of, uh, you know, ancients and, and, you know, Noah and six, seven, eight hundred year old people. I mean, that doesn't seem that far fetched, but uh, putting that aside, uh, the thing that affects the quality of life is number one, no matter how long you live, it's the quality that matters. Uh, it would be better to live a very short life of high, high quality and things that were, you know, pleasant and enjoyable for you as you're alive. And I don't mean like pursuits of pleasure. I mean things that are just good and wholesome in general. That would be better than, you know, a long life of sickness and sorrow. I mean, people act like they, they leave that equa part of the equation out a lot when, when you know we're holding our authorities accountable for things that they have sway over in our living conditions you know they want to they want to say they they hold them accountable yet oh well the, the quality of our life is meaningless all that matters is the length of it and oh we're, we're trying to help people live longer and just you know that ties into our medical system who preaches to the children in school how, you know, their innovations, the Action Jacksonations, that movie with Carl Carl Weathers, thanks Matt, of the Action Jacksonation, how that's helping us to live longer, better lives, healthier too, you know, and, and, and we're on the 
on the threshold of discovering a cure for the for the yes we can sir can we do it yes we can sir we're right there we're gonna turn that code just keep sending in the money and racing down the sidewalk with your pink ribbons on and we'll get there we'll get there um you know that is a bigger lie and it affects not just the length of a person's life it affects the quality of their life which is more important than the length of their life and people are just like people clinging to life it seems i don't know maybe i'm clinging to life maybe that's the impetus for all of this uh, bs i've been talking right i don't know could be there's something to be said for that but it's as if, uh, the, you know, the length of your life is, is far more important or something. People in just horrible situations and, and states of being, you know, selling off their family's land that they've had for hundreds of years for the latest treatment of poison that's going to save them, they think. You know, yeah, who needs to leave anything to your children? You've got that, yes, we can, sir, to think about. Sell off that land. Your grandkids don't need nothing. They're doing fine in the FEMA camp. You got to get those new treatments. You got to get to your, or whatever. It could be, you know, even worse reasons than that. I mean, comparatively, that's a good reason to sell off the land, right? And try and save your ass for a minute longer. Who cares if your life's horrible and you got to go around with a dialysis bag strapped to your side all the time and you can barely move unless you're on so many pills that you can't even think out of sight of a, a fuzzy little, I see a light spot ahead of me somewhere. Jane, is that you? You know, that's the quality of life. What are you trying to save? If, if you know, the quality is not the more important issue, what are you trying to save with that quantity? You're saving shit worth having. So, you know, the, the biggest lie is the one that affects the quality of your life and the length of your life, the quantity of your life. That's quantum. That's my quantum theory. I'm going to go out in the storm and like, I don't know, I was going to work on my uh, oil stove. I'm going to try to build one of those blue flame, you know, circulating type uh, waste oil stoves. But this wind is not really conducive with <laughs> working on a fucking oil stove, which I've been trying to do for a week and a half. And everything is stopping me. The universe is out to get me. They won't catch me. I'm fucking innocent. <laughs> Carry on.